Jason Ellis was killed on May 25th, 2013, 10 years ago tomorrow. So today we are remembering the man behind the uniform and the investigation that is still open. Thanks for joining us right here at 6. I'm Shay McAllister. It was an apparent ambush on his way home from work on the Bluegrass Parkway. That's right outside of Bardstown. His death is among Kentucky's most high profile unsolved investigations. And even a decade later, the Bardstown police chief at the time calls it his darkest day. Ten years ago, it, it does not seem that long, believe me, believe, to me anyway. For Rick McCubbin, it's still hard to believe. A decade has passed since his darkest day on the job. I am your chief, Jason, but you are now our hero. And you must know that your chief will not stand down. The young officer, Jason Ellis, had left a life in Cincinnati playing minor league baseball to embrace a new role in rural Nelson County as a father and public servant. And he just wanted, you know, just to do his job and to do it good and to do it right and to clean up the streets and he was dedicated. He loved it. His young widow, Amy Ellis, here speaking 10 years ago, just days after her husband left work heading home but didn't make it past the exit. Purposely placed tree limbs lured him out of his cruiser where he was ambushed, shot, killed, and left for dead in the middle of the road. I just remember lifting the tape and walking up and looking down at Jason and thinking, what, what in the hell happened here? His, uh, his right knee was up, he was on his back, and I just remember putting my hand on his knee and I'd, I, I was confused, I was upset, I was hurt, I was mad. I just, you know, cried a little bit and I just remember, Jason, we'll, we'll figure this out. In the days after, all eyes were on this case and the search for the suspect. McCubbin says never in his wildest dreams would a decade pass without answers. In no way could I have imagined that 10 years we're gonna still be talking about it, not that we shouldn't, but it's still unsolved. Why do you think this is such a challenging case to solve? I, I don't know, and it, I, I think everything is kind of in place, but it's, it's, perhaps it's like with the Crystal Rogers or the Tommy Ballard, it, they just need one more piece. I, I just don't think that final piece is there yet. The FBI has insinuated, you know, if they can find answers in Tommy's case, Crystal's case, or Jason's case, they can find answers in all of them. Right. What do you think? Do you think that there's a connection here? None that I see. You're looking for something common, a name that maybe kept appearing in some of Jason's arrests or cases, and you know, nothing jumped out to the investigators or the prosecutor's office or, or anything. There's just not that one thing yet that I, I don't think can put them all together. You think it's still possible after 10 years, there's still some stone left uncovered, there's still some piece of evidence that could make a break here? In my heart, I wanna believe that yes, whether it's 10 years or another year or five more years, I still in my heart believe that someday, it's, it's, it's something's gonna break, something's gonna break. And tomorrow, Ellis's family will honor the officer at a memorial service. Bardstown Police is encouraging anyone who can to line up and convoy to the Chaplain Cemetery at 6 o'clock. The department said 10 years is a long time, but the community support hasn't wavered in the slightest.